Hello, this is Sagar Deputa with another video on Node.js. Today we will run our Node.js server on production with uh, Nginx and P PM2. PM2 is a production process manager for Node.js. I have a uh, AWS Educate student account, a starter account, uh, and I have created a EC2 virtual machine there. Let's log into that machine using SSH first we need the node.js to install in our the system npm okay sudo install node.js We also need, need to install npm. We also need nginx, nginx. Also, uh, I'll be using a project or node project that is on my GitHub on uh, that uh, required. MongoDB database. We also need Nginx, Nginx to so install that. Nginx. Oh, this is a newest version, or oh, it was already installed. Okay, we also need to install MongoDB. okay now now let's install mm, pm2 node.js production process manager npm df3 install pm2 PM2 run our application and keep the application alive even if we could come out of the system. So we need okay permission deny. I need to use sudo even if we close this terminal. The, uh, the application will keep running on the background so we need pm2 oh we'll, we'll run our application with pm2 and map that localhost with a domain accessing from nginx let's first clone the repository from the github I have a folder called calendar which is a, a main file is app.js let's run that and then start okay first of all we need to install the dependency npm install it will install all the dependencies that is defined in the project version. Now we run start. Start. Okay, we get the error mm -hmm. through on and Twitter event. This thing happen. Node. 
maybe this port is already in here let's change that and try again Okay, our application is running on port 4444. Okay, if we run this application using using PM2, we can do that using PM2. We have installed PM2, so start .js and give a name. We need to give a name because once we have more than one application we need to crack which application has that id this could already run okay that was also already run okay now we also need to run pm2 save to save the current configuration of the pm2 and pm2 start up so that it will give a script a command that to be run whenever this system boots run this okay now our pm2 is running this our project to verify if it is running or not let's try our c command line interface cli browser that is w3m or something like that i think it need to be installed okay W3M slash slash and localhost and it is on po 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 po. Okay, cannot load. Okay. Why is not?
this zero the zero I use here is from the ID section let's add that again Okay, now this should start our server on localhost. Po, 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 po. So let's check that. Yeah, this response is done. So it is working. Okay, now we need to configure our engine X and configure our engine X for that. Inside size should available. Let's look at this nginx dot unf nginx dot unf. Well, we can add our application here in this file or as that slash etc nginx slash science in side enable slash everything included here will be included here or every file that in with dot con is also included here so we can make a separate configuration file for each application for now i'll use i'll create a calendar dot conf in nginx slash cunf dot d folder okay we create a file name dot com information zero okay something like that Okay, I have a configuration file ready here. Our file should contain dates. Let's create, let's open that file using. Um, nano push that here and the lesion is the port number where the where that in the port number in the domain name and the location will give where the file proxy pass it will be now this will solve this domain will solve uh, the re, uh, domain that is uh, the node server that is running on our localhost 4040 now our, our application is running on 4444 so Let's end that and I have already pointed this domain to this virtual host so everything is good to go control x now
test you to check if any there any syntax either exist with syntax okay now restart now restart the engine x engine x now let's check this domain this will give done for now we have only we have not configured https so let's click on http and we get the response done so our system work so to make you make this clear that that is the server we are running i want to make something change on the controller the calendar is something about a uh, nepali calendar and this file will display the calendar of this year that uh, i have not imported any data on the database so here is our response that is called just done we can check that here home page controller and that controller is something like if any month are found display that month else display done this is running okay to change or we need to restart the np pm2 the id is zero so pm2 restart zero okay we have okay then it's running Okay, now let us configure HTTPS for this we will use let's encrypt SSL to add let's pass at the PPA So Python as CRT BOT as Nginx NJMX. Okay, we need to configure our SSL for domain calendar.bloggernepal.com. We can do that with sudo RT both test as ngi max and domain is okay. every information like go uh, renewal x5 that in information about that will be sent to this email i agree no no do you want to share the email now 
good verification now um, let's encrypt SSL expire at the three month no redirect we no further change with the voice server configuration to redirect we we need to redirect every request to HTTPS so select the option here okay now the now let's encrypt SSL expire every three months so there is a, we can run a script auto renewal script sudo this script will be run every day and if the certificate is expired is going to expire on certain day i'm not sure about that they to they should renew the certificate let's check the domain okay now it is redirected to ssl go to check what it's being changed Slash. Slash. Okay, now once these all these lines are added by CRT bot or that SSL thing, and this was the file written by us. Now this SSL request is handled using the uh, certificate generated and stored in this file. Okay, today we runs our production server our node.js server on production using nginx pm2 and we secure it with ssl thank you